I'm a hamish, but a lot of people sometimes, you know, they know how to do so. It's a lot of new ones here. So if you know you, come right here, subscribe, you know, and follow me on all social media. For other people be here, or for other people be today to me, thank you so much. Like I always say, you know, I have to keep it real. It's the people who donate me so much, you know, to the point where the last donation that you guys sent to me, I just look at it like, man, this is a lot of money. Maybe you should just do some more refund. But I realized because the work that I put it in. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much again. You know, it means a lot to me. You know, your presence, I really appreciate it. I see you guys. You know, I'm nothing without you. Thanks a lot. Let's get started. So now they say pattern place capacitor. So we have a capacitor, okay? Has a place of area. So we have that capacitor have a cross section area of 0.4 meters square. And the place separation is off. So let's say, for example, let's assume. Okay, let's say, let's say this. Uh, Capacitor, the first one, and this another one. This is a roughness case. The parallel, oh, how do they say? Parallel, okay, cool. So, parallel capacitor, for example, if somebody gives you something like this, let's say this is a capacitor, like this is a capacitor, you know what I'm saying? And then you have another capacitor, capacitor. So, let's call this capacitor one and this capacitor two. Let's say roughly, you know what I'm saying? So, these two are parallel because look, it's like this. But for CD, it's something like this. Let's say this capacitor one, and there's another capacitor two. You know, so now, so let's say uh, the power capacitor place has cross section area. So we have a cross section area uh, equals 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 meter square, and the place separation means the separation between plate. For example, let's assume this the distance of separation between the plates, what is the separation between the plate? Is, so distance of separation is 0 0.2 is in millimeters. So we have to change this to meter. So how are we gonna change to meter? So we're gonna have to multiply by 10 power negative three meter. Okay, now we go, what do they want? They also give you permissivity, permissivity, permissivity. Okay, so now we are given also permissivity, Pami, permissivity which always constant. So this is a constant from the city. I'm saying power negative two, uh, coulomb square, uh, in the neutron terms, meter. So we have a power CV, and then, then what is the magnitude of electric field between the plate? This is very, very easy. The A, magnitude of electric field. So electric field, let's go for A. Electric field, we know, equal to V over the distance of separation. Potential difference, we do have. What is the potential difference? Our potential difference, where is it? What is the magnitude of electric field between the Where is potential difference? Ah, oh, we don't have a potential difference. Oh, this one right here, I don't read careful. So we have a potential difference. Okay, thank you. So our potential difference, we have equal to 9.01 volt. So now we're going to say 9.0 volt times, instead of 9.0, excuse me, volt. And then we over, this is a separation. What is the distance separation? This separation is 0 0.2 times 10 power negative 3 what? meter. So now, put that in the calculator. If you want a calculator, uh, this is going to give you, this is going to give you 4.5. So this is going to give you 4.5, 4.5 times 10 power 4 uh, volt per meter. Volt per, per meter. You know what I'm saying? Or you can say Newton per coulomb, you know? Newton per coulomb. You say volt per meter, or you can say Newton per coulomb. Man, what do you mean now? Why you kind of, you kind of have like different, uh, you can say also Newton per coulomb also. It's acceptable. Newton per coulomb. So either or the two. Okay? Uh, okay, now we go. So now we go for it uh, because you can say volt per meter or Newton per coulomb. Be the same thing. Both are units of that one right there. You know what I'm saying? Now we go. You know why we say that? Just for just for the sake for some people don't know. Also, electric field could be equal to force over quantity of charge. The same electric field. You know what I'm saying? It could be different uh, potential difference over distance separation or force over quantity of charge. But for this case, we did not involve force because it has nothing to do with the force. Okay? So that's why I had to take. So either you can take neutral per coulomb. Because this is Newton per column, or you can say volt per meter, so either way. So I just decided to check Newton per column, it's fine. Now, let's go for B. What is the capacitance 
uh, of the capacitor. So capacitor of the capacitor, we have a formula for capacitance. Very small, simple formula. Okay, sorry, just a second. Thank for your patience. Okay, now capacitance, we say capacitance equal permissivity, projection area times permissivity over the distance separation. So that's how this will be. This is how you get the capacitance. You know, or whatever information they give you, you can use this. You know what I'm saying? It depends on your information. So capacitance equal to the cross-section area times the permissivity, permissivity over distance separation. Okay, now, do you have a cross-section area? Oh, yes, it's given. 0 0.4 meters. So this could be capacitance equal to 0 0.4 is in millimeters. So it's fine. We don't have to change anything. Okay, permissivity is always constant 8.85 times 10 power negative 12 and then with all but this is a separation now this is a separation we have it what is this separation this separation is zero uh, zero point two so zero point two times we multiply by negative three because we want to change these two meter which we did already this one here so now what we're gonna do plug in the calculator if you plug in the calculator this is gonna give you uh seventeen point seven 17 plus 7 times 10, power negative 80, and the unit of capacitance is farad, farad is, farad, you know? So we got unit of capacitance. So now, sometimes you can change this if you want. You know why? Because we know for effects, uh, if this is farad, if you want to change anything to non coulomb or non whatever, it has to be 10 power negative 9. So if I make this 10 power negative 9, farad, mean this, this was going to move to the right, it's going to be 17, 7 and this is gonna be this MSA because we change it to 10 power 9. So remember, still uh, farad. So I can say nano farad. Me, if I remove this, I can say n farad. You know, n farad, and this will give me 17 point 7 nine farad. farad. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for the people who don't know how to change these things, oh, non farad, farad, da 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 da. I'm gonna write to you after we finish so I can have a space here. Of how to change from farad, nano coulomb, micro coulomb, etc., etc. So now for that case, we will say, oh, so n coulomb. So now for the third one, which is C, what do they want? They say, what is the magnitude of the charge on each plate? Magnitude of a charger means the one Q, quantity of charger. So quantity of charger equal to C times V means uh, capacitance and potential difference. Capacitance we have. So I'd rather take this, the one with it, farad, not non farad, you know? So my answer is going to be 9 is going to be as how it's supposed to be done. So this is going to be 17.7 times 10 power negative 8 times, what is the distance separation? Distance separation, we have somewhere 0 0.2 times 10 power negative 3. Oh, space is very nice. So I'm going to say these times, okay, let me say times 0 0.2 times 10 power negative 2. So our column is going to be, let's plug in the calculator. If you plug in the calculator, it's going to give you 1.59. 1.59 times 10 times 10 power negative 7 negative 7 coulomb. Okay, so this is a quantity of charger that or magnitude of charge of each plate is gonna have. So each plate is gonna have this or magnitude. Okay, so yes, so for the people, you know, you know, like I say, man, I hope you learn from how I do things, you learn from my methodology, you know what I'm saying. And you know, I appreciate your praise, it means a lot. So, you know, you know, you can share this video, it's gonna be meaning a lot for me. You know, leave a comment, so I'll be more than happy to respond to your comments, okay? So, thanks a lot. And um, I'm gonna touch here the non coulomb, uh, how to change from non coulomb to uh, micro coulomb and or milli coulombs and all them. I'm gonna touch here, you see, okay? Thanks a lot, and I'm um, out. Ah. Bye.